Hello there, Honors American History students. I'm coming to you today on this wonderfully rainy day to bring you an opportunity for makeup work. A lot of you have been asking me questions about what if I miss some assignments and I'd like to go back and do those? Well, they're locked in Canvas. And I'm concerned that if I go back and unlock those, I might miss some of your assignments. So I decided to make a module where you could go in and make up work related to the content that we've been covering since this whole um, isolation, quarantine, out of school, COVID thing started. So let me show you how to operate this. But before we go any further, I want to stress that the makeup work is due no later than Monday, June 1st at 11.59 p.m. Those makeup assignments will lock and I have to have those because our grades are due that week and I need to make sure that I have enough time to grade everything for all of my classes. So the directions right here say to click on this module link and scroll to the bottom. Of course, you can always click on modules on the left and then scroll to the very bottom. There's a page with directions with this video and then there are three assignments with directions. And again, any makeup work you'd like to do must be submitted by Monday, June 1st at 11.59 p.m. So when you click on this link, again, scroll all the way down to the bottom. This is published and ready to go at this point. And it says opportunity to make up missed assignments and remediation. All assignments are due Monday, June 1st at 11.59 p.m. This is not a requirement. I'm going to say that again, not a requirement. No. Is it a requirement? No. Do I have to do it? Is it part of what we're going to be doing and counting towards our grades for work? No. This is just for people who, number one, need to do a couple of other things just to get all of the assignments in. So let's say I have 20 assignments. I really haven't counted. I'm just making up that number. And you've only done 15, but you would like to do another five. Well, here's some opportunities for you to do that. Or maybe you're just the kind of person that loves to do history. Well, you can do these too. You're more than welcome to. I'm not saying don't do them. You can do them if you would like. If it's just for, yes, I'm going to say it, fun. You can do these just for fun because you love history. Like me and Thomas Jefferson. Okay, so clicking on the directions, let me be very clear about this. You'll see this video um, to help you to uh, understand what the expectations are, but please email me if you have any questions. I don't want you to miss out on any opportunities. So if you've either, number one, missed assignments and you want credit for completion, or maybe you don't have completed assignments, okay? If it's marked as incomplete, you could do these as well, or if it's marked as missing, you could do this as well. Or if you just want to do it for the love of learning, I know you all will. So you can complete any part or all uh, of the assignments in the module. So there are three assignment pages, chapter nine. You've got a chapter nine um, assignment page that's going to cover Westward Expansion and Manifest Destiny. Chapter 10 covers causes of the Civil War and chapter 11 covers the Civil War itself. Now you do not have to do the topics that you missed. So let's say you missed uh, the reading guide from chapter nine, but you really like the Civil War. Can you go back and do that to count for that? Yes. Yes, you can. So any uh, doing any of these assignment blends can earn you credit for any blank credit that you need, if that makes sense. But you have to do two section reviews for one quality submission to make up for one assignment. So let's say, for example, you missed this reading guide that I'm pointing to right here, the reading guide for 9-1 and 9-2. And that was due back in April. Uh, and you don't have that as a quality submission. Or maybe you missed that and you also decided you didn't want to do or missed or forgot about the re reading guide for Chapter 9, Section 3. Or maybe you missed the lecture and questions. Any of those things that you missed, you can choose to do any of the assignments that are here in the makeup modules, any two of the section reviews. So you can mix and match. Maybe you want to do one from chapter nine and one from chapter 11, one from chapter 10, one from chapter nine, whatever, but you got to have two in combination for one assignment. And we're not giving half credit for this or incomplete credit. So please remember, I've highlighted this again, Monday, June the 1st at 1159 p.m. That's the due date for the makeup work. No exceptions. Please remember that these are these are individual assignments, so you should complete these in your own words and not giving or receiving answers with peers. If you have any questions, please send me an email. So let's take a look at these three assignments. 
So makeup option one, maybe really do not like the topic of market revolution and manifest destiny. You can skip that. Maybe you really have enjoyed learning more about the causes of the Civil War and the Civil War. You can choose to do those as makeup or enrichment. But let's just take a look at option number one. So you can open up chapter nine here, and it will bring you, of course, to our chapter nine textbook. Now I'm basing the questions mainly on the section reviews that are the end, at the end of each section. So these here but I would like for you to answer them in the Google Doc. So if you'll pull up the Google Doc, be sure to make yourself a copy so you don't lose it. So this is chapter nine, and it will tell you at the top, two section reviews equals one makeup assignment, and you can do maybe section one and section four, um, or sections two and three. Maybe you don't, or you really maybe you get the market revolution, but maybe you had a hard time understanding manifest destiny and expansion in Texas. Or maybe you got Manifest Destiny and you have no idea what I'm talking about with the market revolution. Those are the ones that you can do. Um, make it beneficial for yourself and make it something that you enjoy learning about. So all you have to do is use the textbook link that I just showed you to answer um, any combination of these section reviews. Remember, two section reviews equals one assignment. So this will give you an opportun opportunity to earn up to two completed assignments if you do all four of the section reviews. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. So the same concept is true for this particular chapter, the causes of the Civil War. You could click on the textbook chapter, chapter 10, and that, of course, will give you the text information. And the questions are largely based on the section reviews at the bottom or at the end, I should say, of each section, and there are four sections here. So you can click on the Google Doc for Chapter 10 for the four section reviews that are in uh, Chapter 10. Same thing, two section reviews equals one assignment, so this can also give you up to two makeup assignments. So between Chapters 9 and 10, if you did your math right, you could earn four assignment credits back just between Chapters 9 and 10 alone. But again, you can do any blend of section reviews. Maybe you really understand the divisive, pol divisive politics of slavery, but you wanted to do a little more investigating on protest, resistance, and violence. And we, we didn't touch a lot on the birth of the Republican Party, so maybe you want to go back and take a look at that. Or maybe you don't really like that section and you'd rather do slavery and succession for section four and the divisive politics of slavery for section one. You could do sections one and four, and that will earn you one uh, credit uh, if you do a quality submission. So again, you can do any combination of any two or all four, but the assignment is due by Monday, June 1st by 11.59 p.m. So again, if you do your math correctly, then what you've got here is you can earn between chapters 9 and 10 up to four assignments that you've done. Now this is not supposed to be in place of the work we're doing on Reconstruction for the week of the 25th, because that's pretty important. I'd like for you guys to do that. Um, and to look at Reconstruction, because that is pretty significant when it comes to civil rights, which is very relevant to what's going on in our country today. And the last makeup assignment is from Chapter 11. Now, Chapter 11 is a little different. Chapter 11 has five sections. So here you'll see the Chapter 11 section, and it's all about the Civil War and the effects of the Civil War. So you'll see the Google Doc for that for Chapter 11. Make yourself a copy, but again, this has five sections. But you can only have a combination of two, so pick two to four that you would like to do to give you yet another two assignments. Hey, Landon. Wave to the camera. Hey. Thank you. So this gives you another possibility of two assignments. Now, now if you're doing your math correctly again, you've got chap two for chapter nine, two for chapter 10, two for chapter 11. Hey, Landon, what's two plus two plus two? Six is correct. That means you have an opportunity to make up six different assignments that we've covered since we started this whole break from school or being in school. It's not really a break from school. It's still doing school. It's just remotely digital learning. So I'm releasing these assignments today. Today is Thursday, May the 21st, to try to give you about a week and a half to work on these. Now, if you'll take a look right here, this is our reconstruction module that I'm going to complete over the weekend and release by Monday. And you don't have to start on it on Monday. That's, of course, Memorial Day, so you can start it on, a, on Tuesday. But there'll be a couple assignments there for reconstruction. Um, the, op the 
makeup opportunities are not meant to replace reconstruction. I won't have an assignment to make up for reconstruction, so please, please, please do reconstruction. But if you've missed any work before this week, then you are welcome to go in and make up up to six assignments. Now, if you have any questions, problems, or issues, please let me know. But the final due date is, I bet you can say it by now, Monday, June the 1st at 11.59 p.m. So I hope this is going to help you out. I hope you take advantage of the opportunities to do that. But please send me an email anytime you have questions. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, weekend, and final few weeks of school. Hey, guys, so what do you think of your mom as a teacher? Um, You're a good mom, but a bad teacher. Yes, definitely. Yep. Always. Always. Thank you. Because I you. is boring. Thank you very much. And she makes us do lots and 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 lots, and lots of I ready. You two need a haircut. Yes.